very feisty <laughs> female great horned owl that um, is feeling a lot better than she was. Okay, I need to turn her around. Um, she was found in the deer woods by a hunter and brought in. I don't have the feet. Okay, just let her go. Don't call me. Please. She'll bite too. Hey. Sorry. Alright. Oh. Okay. We got her. Okay, let's see what we can find. She's real skinny and she's um yeah, when you skinny. feel look I mean she's been on the ground for a long time. You see how banged up her feet mm -hmm. are. And when you feel up underneath her, she's all matted and stuff. I don't know if she got yeah, pe peppered with buckshot mm -hmm. or or what. Yeah. And the feathers are not too damaged. But she um, she started to uh, self feed last night, which is nice. With owls, you kind of have to get creative sometimes because. Um, <laughs> They're not used to eating static food. It's okay, little girl. <clears throat> it's all right, monkey girl. The winds. I've been giving her fluids and started her off on a gruel because um, she was so skinny I didn't want to give her solid food. Mm -hmm. um, did that all Saturdays through Saturday night. Let me switch. What do you want to hold, switch? Just hold on to what you have, and then I'll just, let me get, yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah, the finish here is really mad. Yeah, they're, yeah, she's all messed up underneath. Well, we'll take an x-ray and see if we can feel anything. <laughs> we can find anything. He says, I want to come in contact with something. <laughs> Over at UGA, one time years ago, some um, some vet was examining the gray, a gray horn and the tick let go. And that owl reached up and... Grabbed her face? Grabbed her face right in the zygoma. The two two talons went inside the, the eye socket. <laughs> there and the other, the other two went eh? up under the cheekbone. Oh, man. Yeah. Who was the vet? Who was the vet? I don't know who it was, but I don't imagine the tech worked there for too much longer. Well, that, that's no fun. No. Don't let it go away. Oh my okay. gosh. Okay, I don't, I don't know. I don't something know, I don't be, know neither. Something has to be wrong, right? <laughs> yeah, something's definitely wrong. She let that deer hunter walk right up to her and throw a towel over. What, yeah, what do you want to do? One? Yeah. Isn't that weird? I've never, I've never had a case like this mm -hmm. where they're all just mad and banged up. Okay, I'm gonna take her with me. Oh gosh. Okay, she, she's real strong too. Yeah. So. Well, that's good. We want that. Okay, we'll take an X-ray and see if we could. I oh, just just try to do it too much. Yeah, she bit the crap out of me. So yeah, I can see that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, pretty girl. So cool. We turn down to three. You always hold, you know, the, the food, um, feet. Feet. Will you, um, bring me tape? That's the last, the last thing you want to let it go. That's it, going, yeah. <laughs> Wow. 
Wow, that is kind of big. <laughs> the bigger, yeah, but the bigger it is, the harder it's going to pick it up, pull it out. Do you have normal tape? Um, I think there's some in Take the x-ray. Ah. You don't mind to step out? Sure. Very quickly. I'm not sure that's the x-ray. Alright, go ahead. This is the heart. You can have the liver coming around here. Mm-hmm. Still got this safe here. Uh, it's hard to tell what this is. Um, could that be is that in her gut? Where is that? Well, it seems to be a, attached to it could be an, an underinflated ur sac maybe. It's it's just unusual shape. Mm -hmm. uh, this, cause this is kind of hard, and the only thing behind the heart is just pretty much liver. So I don't know if this is liver. Uh, this is the stomach, and it goes to the other stomach. Mm -hmm. um, so this thing here is a little bit unusual, but not sure. Not sure what it is. Well, I've been uh, feeding her skinned mice, so she shouldn't have any casting material no, just yet. No, it's, it's, it's outside the stomach. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I mean, but no fra be, no fractures anywhere. No. I, I just thought for sure she must have been peppered with buckshot. The way she's so matted up next to her skin is mm -hmm. so bizarre. I've never had a case yeah, like this before. I, I don't know. I don't. I didn't see any obvious one. Now, when I when I first approached her inside the the cage at the ER clinic, she was holding that left leg out weird at, at some weird angle, and it, and the top of her leg kind of felt mushy, like she might have had some soft tissue things yeah. going on, but um. But I mean, she she stands on it fine. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I'm wondering that you know some sort of infection, like blood test, would help. But you know, let's just see where we are. I don't know. Well, and the other thing too is, I wonder if she's just old and at the end of her cycle. Yeah. Because I mean, the dull beak, the dull talons, of the mm -hmm. I mean, she's she's worn. I mean, you can tell she's been road hard and put up wet. Yeah. Well, let's give it a try. I mean, uh. Mm-hmm. Well, the other thing is, where in the world am I going to release her? Because they, the ER people, don't know where the bird came from, and so, but, but you know, they're they're learning. They're you know, they're learning to ask the right questions, the right questions. and learn how to handle them properly so they don't get hurt, yeah. so nobody gets hurt. So yeah, you know. Well, you could try to you know see if they could track the person. Well, they uh, they looked on the caller ID, and I think they were trying to track him down that way. So, yeah. that's a beautiful X-ray. I mean, you can see the yeah, that's the, a trachea. The tra trachea, yeah. Those the cartilaginous rings. Yeah, as it comes down, and then again, heart with gray vessels coming out. So a little bit unusual, okay. but you know, blood test may would help a little bit. See how she does. If she does not. Um, Thrive, then we can decide what you want to do. Okay.